y'all. Happy Labor Day. Uh, this is going to be a short and sweet video. I'm out at my grandparents' house today, and uh, they are down in Florida right now on vacation. I think that's a horrible timing, but I think they're currently on the golf side, so they're in safe area, so uh, they should be good there. But in the meantime, I'm here and I'm going through the garden here real quick and uh, doing some bean harvest because they have a lot of beans that came through and uh, they didn't have, uh, they were still coming in even though they were leaving and they won't be back home until October or something like that, I think. So uh, I'm out to get my fill of beans. So here we go. So that's my pap hall set up there. Got them all strung up. Let's go around here. I think I picked the worst possible way to get back here. Okay. Okay. Here we are. So there is rose beans. There's the rest of the garden there. As you can see, the weeds have kind of taken on their, a life of their own down there. But you can still kind of see some was it, squash or water, pumpkin plants or something like that. Squash, pumpkin, something coming through on the edges there. But my focus today are these guys. They're white half runners. I uh, couldn't tell you really too much more about them. All I know is that they have been a family seed that they have kept and uh, harvested and just been using for years and years. Not sure how many years, but the gentleman, the story that I, if I'm correct, the story that I was told is that they, uh, the gentleman, the that grew these, raised these, um, no longer is around and nobody else followed in his footsteps. And my family just kind of ended up still growing them and saving the seeds on them. And it's just kind of been our family's bean for years and years here. Um, most people don't like them because they do have the string, but when it comes to taste these are amazing i just absolutely love them so does everybody else in my family too so there are the beans but let's see what else we can find out over here oh we got some onions still coming up in here. Squash of some sort. I imagine I see a little guy down there. Looks like a few more. Oh, cucumbers back in there. Looks like. So uh, squash, cucumbers, and then what well, looks like more squash, maybe? Or pumpkin? I'm not sure, guys. We got this long vine here. This one's probably a pumpkin, I would assume. It's growing out strong. And then I'm not sure what was in that mess. Every year, uh, I always say, yeah, Papa, I'm going to come out and I'm going to help you with the, with the garden. And obviously, as you can tell, I once again did not make it out to help. But since I have actually gotten into gardening myself and taken a liking to it, I do believe I will come out next year and help him and set things up and use some of the knowledge I learned from y'all in the YouTube community. 
like we got some peppers. He's got quite a few peppers coming in over there still. Some tomato plants that are just kind of on the ground here, vining out. I'm going to try to talk him into doing cattle panels on it next year. We'll see how that goes. And then I can't remember what he said he had in here. Like some kind of root veggie, if, if I am not mistaken. Or lettuce was in here too, maybe. Some green. I can't remember. He's probably going to watch this and be like, you don't know what you're talking about. But that's what I'm... I can't remember what he said, but there was something in there. But, all right. Back to the beans. Yeah, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it out here. And this back here is not a typical site for the fall in Indiana. This field's normally full up with either soybeans or corn, but a lot of farmers didn't get into the fields in time this year. So this field has rested. Looks like they've done some drain or plumbing drainage, I'd imagine, or something out through there. But it's just so calm and quiet and beautiful out here. And I'm not gonna lie, while it, farming is important, the honeybees did absolutely amazing this year. And uh, they had a lot more, they produced a lot more honey. And I'm going to say is because they had a lot more food to choose from in the fields. But that's just me. So, all right, I'm going to get to harvesting some beans here and then I'll show you what I get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am uh, almost done picking the beans, and uh, <laughs> oh lord, oh, no. I uh, right before I started picking the beans, I called my granny to uh, to uh, make sure I knew how to tell which ones were okay to pick, and uh, I didn't think anything of. <laughs> what she told me but um uh <laughs> she said that the beans uh will feel firm and you'll be able to feel the the bean inside and that you don't <laughs> you don't want to pick a flaccid bean <laughs> I didn't catch on <laughs> or think anything funny of that until I got to the end here and I'm going along, I'm feeling up the beans and, I'm like, and I found one. I'm like, oh yeah, that one's, that one's good. And like, oh my gosh, I've been molesting the beans, <laughs> feeling how firm they were, making sure they weren't flaccid. <laughs> okay, so I just finished up, uh, got quite a lot of firm beans uh, picked, but uh, I'm going to run inside here, show my wife and my aunt, and hopefully they'll let me uh, film the reaction after I tell them the, j <laughs> tell them the story of what happened. We'll see if they'll let me film or not. Hopefully they do. Okay, so Amy's prepping to hear the, the funny story here. My wife has chosen to not be on the vlog, but... Okay, so I, before I started picking beans, I called Granny, and I'm like, Granny, so um, how do I tell what which ones are done so I'm not picking them too early and she's like well for the right bean it'll be firm and you'll feel the the beans inside yeah. I'm like okay and she's like if it's not it'll be a little flaccid you don't want the flaccid bean <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it gets a little better <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't click <laughs> It didn't click until I got to the last row of beans, and I'm like, oh, that's a firm one. I'm like, oh, oh, Granny, I've been molesting the beans. 